All right, what we have here is a Capcom Street Fighter II Champion Edition PCB that I have converted to a Ghouls and Ghosts. Both of these run off the Capcom CPS-1 hardware, as you can see, Street Fighter II. But those of you that have these boards know that there's ROMs in a lot of these spots here. Um, so I have burned all the required ROMs, and as well as the GAL chip, which is the security chip, this little one here, I've not turned it on yet. Um, I just kind of double checked everything, made sure that all the chips are in the right orientation. Number nine, which is a little bit shorter than the socket is correctly inserted. Um, and then 22 and 23, and then the gal chip right there. So let's go ahead and turn it on and see what happens. That's good news. Let's give it some credits. So I'm going to play this one handed. So it looks like it works, that's good. This is a very valuable board for those that um, don't know. The CPS-1 dedicated Ghouls and Ghosts board runs for like, I've seen them sell between $400 and $900 on eBay. In the forums they sell for like four to $600. So um, I'm gonna be doing a full conversion from a Capcom HS-1 Dynamo cabinet into a dedicated Ghouls and Ghosts here soon. As soon as I'm done with the Miss Pac-Man um, and a few other projects that I'm working on. But this here was the first that I wanted to test out. Um, downloaded all the required ROMs, um, burned them all, and seems to work well. I'm gonna play a little bit here, because um, I can't play it one-handed, and kind of see if there's any issues with display or music, but seems not to be. Um, seems really clean. I heard that there was some issues with the sounds on some of these, but uh, that was years ago, and I think that people burned the ROMs incorrectly and had the wrong chips, the wrong speed of chips. So, um, I'm pretty happy with this. This should go in the cabinet along with some of the other things I have, which is a brand new uh, restored Wico, original Wico, Wico, however you pronounce it, joystick for the Ghouls and Ghosts, um, as well as a couple of the parts I've collected um, over the years. But the cabinet should be here in the next week or two, and that's the most important thing. Um, that's a dedicated um, Dynamo HS1. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and completely tear that apart, restore it, um, re-decal it, do the control panel, and obviously put this board in there. Uh, but this is the most expensive part of the whole thing, especially if you were to buy a dedicated one. I'm still looking for one. If somebody had one, I'd probably buy it for a decent price if I could negotiate. Um, but I guess I could make these now and sell them um, if people want them. Um, that's something that um, I guess if somebody doesn't have $800 for a board, but they bought a Street Fighter board and wanted me to convert it for them, I'm sure I could figure out a way to, to do it. Uh, the chips are fairly inexpensive. It takes some time to do it, test it, make sure it works as this one does, and um, we can go from there. But anyways, I wanted to show you guys that it's a very, um, very difficult board to find, and now that we can do them on these Capcom CPS-1 boards, um, it saves a lot of time, energy, and money.